In 1981, Monsignor John Cassidy was recognized by Catholic Extension for evangelizing in poor and isolated communities in rural Georgia. Known as the Trailer Priest, he traveled throughout Georgia with his Queen of the Apostles Motor Chapel trailer. Among the parishes he founded was the African-American Catholic community of Queen of Peace in Lakeland, Georgia, which 34 years later would produce another Lumen Christi Award recipient in Father Freddie Angel. This community came to be a testimony of, of unity in the diversity. There were three mission churches, a small church in Adel, Georgia, there was a church in Nashville, St. Mary's, and a church in Lakeland, Queen of Peace, all served by the same pastor. It was a mission territory, especially here in the South Georgia, is only 3% are Catholics. This truly is Bible Belt country, and our community is not wealthy. We're more than 50% Latino. We have Filipino members. We have a significant Afro-American community. Father Freddy has been able to put his arms around those folks. Father Freddy joined three small, diverse, and dilapidated rural churches into one community and one flourishing parish, St. Anthony of Padua in Ray City, Georgia. Instead of having these very small uh, places of worship that, f that filled the need when they were built, now we have something that is bigger, that's more noticeable. It will put a stamp on Catholicism and the Catholics in that part of Georgia, and it will be something that they could be proud of. Now to open the doors officially so that we may begin to consecrate this church to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ under the patronage of St. Anthony of Padua. Once we are here together, we are family. It's diverse, but when we come through that door, we're just one, one community one Catholic community. Everybody enjoys everybody, you know. You get yeah. to know different people, mm -hmm. different culture. The multicultural aspect, it, I think it shows us how we can expand our faith. It is the mission we have to, to unify, to, to be one with Christ, and as Christ is one with the Father. It was really the, the support and the interest of the Catholic Extension Society that made this a reality for us. It encouraged others to do what they were doing, helping us. And they started helping each other. And they started seeing the bigger picture and what they could have if they wanted it. I don't know how far back our relationship with Catholic Extension goes, but when I travel around the diocese, um, I can see plaques from the 50s and plaques from the 60s. Catholic Extension has enabled the Diocese of Savannah to really reach uh, so many people and to, to, to establish the church and build the kingdom of God in all parts of, of South Georgia. This is a model of church that is the reality. This is a model of church that we're going to experience in our country over the next 50 years. It is a very joyous moment for this community. The dream is coming true. It has been an awesome journey.